during the course of those years, we started working on integrating this city. Uh, I was in a number of organizations uh, uh, that talked about social justice, uh, interracial uh, events and the like. And I first met who was then, who became the mayor, and then the secretary of HUD, Moon Landrew. His, I met him in my senior year at Xavier. Uh, we didn't get to know ourselves a lot, but we were in, in common things together. And about 1940, no, it's a little better than that now. It's about 1950, a small group of black and white uh, civic as, as well as social and business people decided Loyola needed to integrate. It was a Catholic school, uh, and though segregation was still running high, it needed to integrate. And they, they were going to start with the law school. And they decided they would choose a Xavier senior to apply. And there were two priests, Jesuit priests at Loyola at the time, uh, who were very much involved in this committee and, and, and promoted this, uh, Father Louis Toomey and Father uh, Fichter. Uh, and in 1950, the first Xavier senior applied to Loyola's Law School and was turned down. Uh, he left New Orleans, went to Georgetown Law School, became a federal judge, actually. The second senior in 51 was Richard Gumbel, Brian Gumbel's daddy. He applied. Uh, was turned down. He went to Georgetown Law School, became a judge in, in, in Chicago, unfortunately died at, I guess, 54. The third Xavier senior was I, 1952. I applied, and the, the clock stopped on me. So I became the first black uh, admitted to Loyola's Law School and graduated in 1955. Uh, and, and that was another series of a, in, an interesting part of my life in the sense that I had come from a segregated city uh, system. I now was still in a segregated system, but I was in an integrated. I was integrating a law school, and I didn't think about it as much as I thought about it later. That had I and then another uh, uh, African American who was a businessman joined me, had we failed in 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 law school? And remember again, this is 1952. Uh, people then as they do now, but more then than now, believe that we could not do law school, blacks could not do law school at a prestigious law school. And, and, and I didn't think, because I guess I was too young at uh, 21, to realize how much was riding on.